thank God for my wife and man, Miss Dillon, who's traveling with me today. I praise God for everything. I thank God for my children. I thank God for yet holding on. Down through the years, the Lord has been good to me. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless Him today. Thank you for extending this opportunity to us one more time, Pastor Hamilton. We bless you. The name of the Lord for you. Amen. But we ask you would turn with us to Isaiah chapter number 10. Isaiah chapter 10. Isaiah 10. Isaiah 10. Let's look at verse 24 through 27. Isaiah 10, 24 through 27. We can read that together. Therefore, you go to heaven. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 24 through 27. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, O my people that dwellest in Zion, be not afraid of the Assyrian. He shall smite thee with a rod, and shall lift up his staff against thee, after the manner of Egypt. For yet a little while, and the indignation shall cease, and my anger in their destruction. And the Lord of hosts shall stir up a scourge for him according to the slaughter of the Midian, and the rock of Oreb. And as the rock, his rod was upon the sea, so shall he lift it up after the manner of Egypt. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Amen. We thank God for that today. It's because of the anointing. That's all we want to talk about is because of the anointing. I feel the anointing right now. The anointing is just simply what someone or something that has been consecrated for God's use. And there has been many things that have been anointed throughout the scripture. Many men and women that have been anointed by God throughout the scripture. Because of the anointing, Amen. God used uh, um, Moses to lead the people. They came to a dead end and they got to the river. There was nowhere to go. The enemy was behind them, the mountains on the side, and the ocean in the front of them. But because of the anointing of God that rests upon the life of Moses, God made a way and brought them through. God used men and women. He used Elijah. To speak to the man that lost the axe head and told him to put the axe, the, 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 the handle from the axe, to put it in the water. And because of the anointing, because of the power, because God has designated Elijah to be the man to lead the people, God worked through his life. Amen. And by his words, God honored his word. He told them, put the stick, put the stick in the water, and the axe began to swim. Yeah. Amen. We can read this thing of various passages throughout the scripture, where God used men and women, amen, to, 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 to perform the miracles in order to let the people know that he was on their side. Amen, amen. See, the devil always want to make God's people look bad. He want to show us up. But how many know if you have the anointing on your side, the devil can't do nothing with the man or the woman of God. Amen. And we see in this passage, Israel was in the predicament. Israel was in the situation. Amen. In the beginning of this chapter, you see how the king, the people of position had, they were, they were evil toward the people that did not have. Amen. They mistreated the people. They didn't treat them right. They had laws and different things that were against the people. And all this came about because God's people that knew the ways of God, they walked with God, they followed the things of God. Amen. They saw the miracles. Amen. They, they came out through the Red Sea. 
They came to the wilderness. They saw the fire, amen, that led them by night and a cloud by day. They saw, amen, the manna fall from nowhere. The manna was on the ground when they woke up in the morning. The east wind came and blew the well in where they were at and fed them. The rock began to pour out water so they wasn't thirsty. They saw all of this by the hand of God. But they still came to a position and a point in time in their life where they decide to back up on God. Amen. So, so there is no excuse. But God saw this and God allowed the enemy to come upon them. He allowed the Assyrians to come upon them. Amen. To bring hardship and bring uh, a hardship upon them. Amen. He caused this here because of their disobedience. Amen. But God, amen, he chases them because he loved them. Amen. How many know that if you don't love someone, you won't chase them? Amen. How many know if you don't love someone, you won't tell them what they're wrong? You let them continue to walk in their way, knowing that the ways of their path will be the ways of destruction. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you don't want to say what you need to say, but because of the love down on the inside, because Yo, yeah. 